So I'm going to shuck some oysters, and I wanted to uh, do a little video of, uh, of how I do it. So this is an old dish towel. It is clean, but it's old, and I use it for this purpose. It is rather stained, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be pretty. No one's going to see you shucking the oysters. So this is an oyster that I've actually cleaned, so I scrubbed it, and, uh, and then I cleaned it. And uh, this is a special oyster shucking knife. Uh, it's, it's important because like this is not sharp at all. So you see I'm sort of running my finger along it. Don't do that too much, but um, but it's nice and sturdy so that you can actually get right into the oyster. So um, so this is the bottom of the oyster here, the, the part that looks... So if you look at the oyster like this on the side, you'll see that there's a flat part on the top, and then there's kind of a curved part on the bottom, you see? Um, so the curved part is on the bottom. Here's the top. What I do... Now, some people use gloves for this. I don't actually use gloves. I probably should, but I don't. I will sometime when I chop my hand off, so. Um, and what you do is you go into, from the top, right in here, this is kind of like, this is where the top part meets the bottom part of the shell. Um, and it kind of goes along all the way around here, but this is where you can get your knife in. You just get it in at some kind of crevice here. I'm not gonna do it right there. Or, well, I am gonna do it right there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until I have my, my hand covered somewhat. So here I am digging into that part. I'm going to sort of give some decent pressure. And then what I'm going to do, you can see that I'm going to turn the knife. So you see how my knife is turning? And when you turn it, it's like a bit of leverage and it kind of opens the shell. Then what I do, I'm going to lift this. Normally I would do this kind of covered up, but I'm going to lift it. Then what I do is I'm going to run my knife. I'm going to slide my knife along the top part of this underneath so just to loosen the oyster from the top so there we go um, normally as I say I would do this underneath this thing but I just wanted to show you how it works so there we go it's pretty easy it comes off oh there's a little part there that's uh, that's for me to eat mm, yum um, so now what you have is a raw oyster what you're trying to do is make sure that you don't lose any of the liquor the or what they call the liquor, which is like the, which is the sauce kind of, or the, the water that's inside it. Now, um, and then what you do is you kind of run it along the bottom, run the knife underneath it along the bottom just to loosen the whole thing up because it's also attached here. You see this thing here? That's where, you know, that's where this is attached. And then once it's done, um, you put it on a plate of ice. So here's my plate. There's the ice. I usually just sort of Nestle it in there. There we go. So, let's try another one. This time I'll do it the way I normally would do. Well, no, actually, I'll do one more, a little bit slower. So here we are. Here's the bottom. Here's the top. Um, there's the corner where I'm kind of digging the knife in just a little bit. I'm kind of putting that, uh, putting that towel there for a bit of protection. And then I'm digging... And then I'm twisting. Oh, and sometimes, you know, you twist a little bit and then it doesn't move or it chips off. That's okay. Just dig in a little more and then twist it. Oh, there we go. See, it moved out of the way for me. And then there, I just did it like that. It's done. And then scrape it off of here. Try not to lose any of that delicious water because that water is actually the uh oh, that's really tasty that water so all right we'll do a couple more nice and quick so there's one oops there we go i'm gonna do it like that there we go And you want to make sure you clean it nicely with a, a brush because there's a whole bunch of gunk in there. And it's not that big a deal on the top because the top you throw away and you serve it on the bottom. But on the bottom, you know, like it's, you're never going to get all of the grime. But, you know, you want to get enough so that when somebody's putting their lip on the bottom of that thing, it doesn't just uh, completely um, come out. So there we go. And there we are. Oops. Oh, good. I didn't lose the juice. I thought I did there for a second. There. 
think that's pretty good. I think you sort of have the idea now. So, and here it is on the plate. Here they are on the plate. And of course I will fill that entire plate up and uh, it will be delicious. And here's the finished product. Our delicious oysters sitting on ice. Uh, just throw in a little bit of a little bit of lemon because lemon is yummy and I like to have a bit of pureed horseradish now here's the thing um, you can buy horseradish raw and you can grate it yourself and that is awesome and I do that sometimes um, but uh, the other thing that you can do is you can buy it in the jar and that's what I've done with Diana's seafood because it's so darn good um, and I like it extra hot so and there you go uh, these are Malpec oysters. If you live in Toronto, there's a place called Diana's Seafood um, out on Lawrence Avenue East, and they're really fantastic. Um, I got about four dozen, and there's always a little more than that, in a box for $36, which is pretty darn good. That's less than a buck a shuck, so it costs a lot more than that in the restaurant, that's for sure. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching.